Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brandy K. How y'all doing? Um, I just want to do a quick little video, maybe a little rant. I don't know what to call it. Um, just bear with me, guys. So I've been seeing this um, headline going around, videos, interview, you know, people against the artists, people with the artists, people in the middle. And I was like, what is all this commotion? So let me check it out. So I check out this interview that everybody be talking about with this new and upcoming artist. His name is Joshi. He's a Jamaican dancehall artist. Um, he did an interview with a well-known Jamaican um, media personality, Anthony Miller. And before I watched the video, I saw like Futa, Futa Ipe and like, you know, was talking about the video. I saw like Bonty Repose. I even saw something like with Sean Paul Wife was bashing him and you know other people and I was like huh I don't usually like you know rant or review my island stuff especially anything that's negative but I'm Jamaican to the bone Kingston 13 rep Maxfield Avenue all day every day um and I was like let me check out the interview check out the interview and he said no lies like Everything that God said in the video, he was just being young and genuine, authentic in the interview. So all people bashing him, I don't see the cause. He was just being himself. Yeah, he was drinking, but what? As he told Anthony Miller, he was celebrating because what? If he had went to UE or went to, came to America and got some big degree and go back I'm ghetto, you would have said Anthony Miller come for one interview him, first of all. But because he's a young prodigy, ghetto artist singing about gun and killing, they're always fascinated or they all wanna, always want to put it the limelight. Oh, this is why Jamaica is bad because these young artists sing about crime. No, he's a young ghetto artist. That's all he know. And as an artist, you expect he's going to express that in his art. He don't reflect for all ghetto you. Because that's what I can tell you. A lot of us who was raised in the ghetto, we're very intelligent. We're very educated. But guess what? That's where it stops. Because you go to high school and you come up with 5, 10, 15 subject. And because you're from the ghetto, you can't get a job. You have to know people, know people, know people, know people, know people. And sometimes you get tired. And as ghetto youth, we talk amongst ourselves. We can't let the, you know, ghetto define us. You can't let it take over your mental. You understand? But he's just expressing what he knows and what he's been through. I'm from the garrison, and I can tell you, I've lived through the bad times where I'm in my bed and gunshot a fly over the roof. I'm an 80s baby, and 85% of the guys, them from Moxie, Lincoln, Texas, and Jim Road, Sunlight Street, all the surrounding areas, Mervilla Road, when we grew up and played Dalio Sweet, Beard with Rona Wani, near kid. Run up and down, play Stucky, play Marble, because I used to like power with the boy them. Play all kind of game, ring game. 85% of them is not alive right now because of gun violence. And that's what I'm saying, we can't stop the violence. Ain't no one of the main things why violence can't stop. A lot of these young kids who grew up and be violent, their parents, especially their dad, was died by violence, was killed because of violence. And a lot of them grew up with that vengeance, like, yo, when I get big, you know, me go vengeance my father, you know, me go kill back a man or kill back him family or whatever. And it's just like a repeat of the cycle. And even when you talk to them, most of the time, because there's nothing else to distract them, there's no education program, there's nothing. You can't talk them out of it. Growing up in the ghetto, I was fortunate. I had parents that make sure I got a good education. I make sure parents, I had parents that make sure I got food on the table, clothes on my back. I had a lot of friends, girl or boy, who was not fortunate. Them I forgot to look for them one from early. I them mother I'm father, you used to, have to go uptown, St. Tanju, go work for people. Some of them mother used to have to go wash people dirty clothes just to make ends meet. I have to send them to school. And when them go to school and get the subject them, I have to say, yeah, them are going to make mommy live good. 
or pay for one look at one room, mommy over her head and said that she in at the zinc house. They can't. Because what? The uptown people them see them as a threat. They see them as troublemaker. So even when you have your 10, 15 degree, you speak spoken, you're intelligent, and you show so you can do the work, you are just alone. They stereotype you. You understand? So not all of we want to be bad. And I kid you not, if most of them guys that were, were pass away, we get the chance to be artists, most of them would have probably sing about the same thing because that's all they know. Eventually, he probably going to polish up because him sang them is not all that bad. He might have a local inspiration that some of them sang them. They sang them is not all that bad. You understand? So later on, he probably know say he might have to go polish up and, you know, come with better lyrics. But at the same time, he's new. Him just a getting boss. So what do you think he might go do? He might go show him art. He might go portray him art with what he know. And that's just being from the ghetto. Being amongst the gangbang. Being amongst corruption. And all the other things that might mean at the ghetto. So people need to just give him some slack. You understand? I'm from the ghetto. And them say, who feels it, knows it. You understand? Some things when we grew up and see, it was really crazy. You understand? And as he said, there's a lot of corruption. There's a lot of corruption all the way around. And when people not get to make a look of money, they might go protect themselves. You understand? And it's not like you can't just get lights and firearms just like that. So it's sad and it bad and it wrong that most of these guys turn to illegal weapons. You understand? It's not good, but that's all they see. They can't go and be like, okay, I'm going to go to the government and I'm going to give me a legal firearm for protect myself because I know me I make a $2. People are going to want to kill my mother, my uncle, my father, my sister. So me have to go protect them or protect the local dollar because people are going to rob me. Because it's the ghetto. Once somebody make it out or the ghetto, somebody realize say you have a look of shilling more than them, they're going to come get you for it. Because what? There's nothing else they can do. They can't get a job. So your st your doorstep is going to be the first doorstep they're going to reach. Yo, that you, they make money now. Yo, we go take some. And if we have to go kill him, we have to go kill him because what? we have to survive. You understand? And I understand here, yeah, he probably really had more to Bounty Killer because what? Bounty Killer come from Sea View, where the same ghetto stuff happens. You understand? So that's why he kind of relate to him. But at the same time, he just a be himself. You understand? He just a celebrate because what? Anthony Miller want to interview me. Look at me, we just a come. You understand? A lot of people, you don't see Anthony Miller going at the garage to just go to interview random people. You understand? So just leave him. You understand? I don't see what the uproar for. He's just being himself. He tell no lie. You understand? And I agree with a lot of the older artists. They had to push through and pull through the mud to get where they at. So they don't feel obligated to help younger artists, which is okay. It would be good if they do, because a lot of those artists that he spoke about, they're really good artists, like Yaksta, Nation Boss, they got real good songs. You understand? And they don't really sing about gun and killing and ray, ray, ray. They have good songs, and they only just need the exposure. So if a lot of them, all the artists, they can give them the exposure, you understand? Because the music that are there for everybody, you understand? If, if they can really get the exposure, they can really go down and, you know, make, make money and be able to take care of them family. You understand? I'm probably even shy away from singing from the gun song because they're like, yo, we're on a more international platform. We have to put out more inspiration, you know, put out more genuine music, you know, make the people know what we stand for. You understand? So with all this, so I see um, Shabba manager talk about that country. And, and for Shabba to even let him refer to his barn land as that country is even crazy to me. You understand? 
So I just want to big up Joshy. Just keep on the pot. Just don't say you make a dollar. You know, spend it all off. You try to save a little thing for rainy day. You understand? And whether you become the biggest thing, the next big thing or not, just don't say you keep your head up and never stop trying. You understand? Never stop trying. Because we the product of the ghetto, a lot of we wish we could have get the little help because of where we come from. Some of us was fortunate. Some of us had people who came to America or did business and make money so them can move uptown out of the garrison. But a lot of garrison youth wasn't fortunate. Some of them end up dying at the garrison. You understand? Some of it for your cause, some of it was irresponsible. Some of it was because what? Just like I see the youth, what yeah, yeah, when him take to social media because him fed up, there's so much more like him in the ghetto. It's just that them not take a phone and because some of, the, some of we get the people we have so much pride. We are dead for hungry and nobody not know. We drink some water and just call it a day. While you have some say, yo, I not drink no water. I'm going to take up a gun and go, they go look it. Because my family have to eat. You understand? So it depends on which side of the fence you want. You don't want to be, I get to you to you go hold it. Or I get to you to say, yo, anyway, them you go go for. And if you're dead, you're dead. And if your family can't bury yourself, then bury yourself. You understand? There's no government program for ghetto youths. You understand? There's no help for ghetto youths. Every day food go up. This go up. That go up. It's crazy. There's no way for ghetto youth to elevate themselves unless they get help. Or, I'm not going to say luck, but... God shine pan them and say youth at your time. And you get that bus if you get that big job there or you and I say you become an artist or you get for travel or something. But it's rough. So people for stop bashing. You understand? And just try to realize that he's a get a youth and he's only just spitting what he's what he knows. Anyway, guys, thank you for listening to my ranting. Um <laughs> subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys another time. Bye.